It's time to get inside the Giants huddle. Let's go back to your huddle. On Giants.com. Tempo, tempo, tempo. And the Giants mobile app. Go, 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 part go. Part of the Giants podcast network. Yeah. Welcome to the newest edition of the Giants huddle podcast. John Schmelk with you. Today, we're going to talk to a trio of Giants cornerbacks. James Bradbury, newcomer Adoree Jackson, and second-year player Darnay Holmes. First, a reminder, you can find the Giants Huddle Podcast on the Giants mobile app on your favorite podcast platforms and at Giants.com slash podcast. If you're on Apple Podcasts, please leave a five-star positive review if you like what you hear. Let's start with James Bradbury, who made a Pro Bowl last year for the Giants, had an excellent year. We talked to him about the 2021 season. All right, James, second year for the Giants in the same defense. What kind of jump can we expect, you think, from you personally, but more importantly, your group? being with Patrick Graham for a second straight year? Um, I think overall we'll have a better knowledge of the system. Um, so with that being said, of course, you you want to perform better. You want to perform more. Um, I think it uh, because we have a, another year up under our belt, um, like the thinking will be slower for us. You know, we'll be able to process things a lot quicker. Uh, we'll have to think as much on the field. You know, it'll be like natural. Um, so I think we're, we're going to do pretty good this year. You know, last year you guys rotated, I think, four or five guys into that outside cornerback position opposite you. This year they make a big free agent acquisition of Dory Jackson, who has a lot of experience playing in this league. How much do you think that's going to open up for you guys to maybe mix in a little bit more man-to-man when last year you guys were more of a zone-heavy team? I think adding him to the mix definitely uh, makes us more um, deadly on defense because uh, he brings speed um, and also his overall knowledge of the game. I've hung around him uh, just a few days uh, being around him. He knows a lot about football. Uh, so having to have, bring him in with the knowledge that he has and also his speed is going to add a different dynamic to our defense. Can you talk a little bit about how you guys work with the safeties? Because I feel like you guys have a real smart group of safeties, whether it's Logan Ryan or Jabril Peppers, and how you play off of each other and set each other up to make plays based on the scheme. Uh, yeah, so that um, us setting each other up for plays to be made on the field, that just takes uh, chemistry and, you know, just uh, those reps that you get in practice. And also um, off the field uh, chemistry. You know, we watch film together sometimes. We also communicate a lot off the field. Um, so that all, that all helps and uh, adds chemistry and uh, brings that cohesiveness uh, to a secondary that you need. What do you think your major goals are for you heading into your second year? I mean, from my perspective, I thought your first year was a huge success. I'd like to get your take on your first year too and then what you want to do to try to get better in your second season. Uh, so I try to look at everything from an overall team perspective. Um, of course, if I if I do well and we don't do well as a team, you know, it really doesn't matter. Sure. So I always want to perform better than last year. Um, of course, I have high expectations because I made the Pro Bowl and I had a good season. So, uh, of course, I want to do better than I did last year. And, um, you know, that's my only goal. And, of course, I want, I want to win football games. That's my primary goal. Um, and then secondly comes stats, you know. James, good stuff, man. We really appreciate the time, my friend. Thank you. That's Giants quarterback James Bradbury. Limited Giants season tickets are on sale now for the 2021 season. In addition to ticket savings, membership benefits include access to exclusive events, experiences, pre-sales, and more. You can lock in your seats starting at just 100 bucks. Call 888-NYG-1925 or visit Giants.com slash tickets for more information. Now let's go with second-year cornerback Darnay Holmes out of UCLA. Mostly played inside last year. Looking forward to his second year with the Giants. And now we're joined by Giants second-year cornerback Darnay Holmes. Darnay, when you got back at the end of last season and you took a little break and then you had a chance to, you know, look at how everything went in your rookie year, what was your overall impression? Yeah, uh, I feel like I made great strides, you know, and I feel like I was very receptive on the scheme. And now just being here for a year, I feel like I'd be able to be more comfortable and have an imagination to do different things since I know where I got to get to on the field now. We just talked to Blake Martinez and he talked about how the defense can change week to week. It's disguised, complex from a layman's perspective. That seems like a really hard thing for a rookie to try to do on top of figuring out all this NFL stuff. So what was it like being in this scheme that changed so much and was so complex in your first year? Uh, really just when you have a scheme with great teachers, I feel like the scheme is very uh, easy for you to comprehend and for you to understand. So I had uh, great people around me, you know, so having those guys around me allowed me to be more fluid and understand what the scheme and why I should do this and why I shouldn't do this with different uh, tactics that coach coach wanted us to uh have have in store who are the guys that helped you the most and, and taught you the most yeah uh really it was logan ryan because he played a lot of the star position with the patriots you know so pretty much having that understanding on how he did things and how i should relate to different numbers and stuff like that made things very uh simple for me 
when you talk about that position, it's also one of the tougher positions to play in the league. You got to run support, set the edge sometimes. Sometimes you got to blitz. Then you got to cover these, you know, 5'11 guys that are super quick with the two way go. Um, what was it like trying to figure out all those things kind of at the same time? Yeah, so pretty much when I uh, was proposed with the position, I didn't know it had all these different complex things within it, you know? So uh, once I learned that I had to understand that I had run support, you know, I had to go on blitzes, different things like that. Uh, it was definitely something I had to really just sit back and reflect on different things I need to do to really upgrade and pretty much not place myself in bad positions with the uh, star position, but pretty much just having great teachers around me and having an understanding of the scheme. I was able to really pretty much align my skill set with the scheme for sure. Because you played mostly outside in college, right? So did exactly. you enjoy the added responsibilities of getting in there and being more physical and doing that stuff at the line of scrimmage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely enjoyed it, you know, because being a rookie, you know, you got to pretty much show them that it factor. You know, you got to show them that you're able to play on this league and play uh, pretty much with the people around you. So having that position at an uh, early age definitely helped me uh, blossom as a person for sure. Now, you guys played more of a, a zone-heavy scheme last year. What was it like getting used to that and, and playing more of that zone? Because I know in, in, in college, you played more man-to-man -man outside, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, it was actually uh, – Pretty cool playing zone. You know, you're able to see the ball more. You're able to get your hands on more ball. You watch the quarterback to, more, right? Exactly. Ever be more disruptive and see what the quarterback have going on. So it was definitely unique for sure. What are some of the things that you think you learned in your first year that now you can build on and to take that next step in your second season? Uh, really just the the basics of cover three and cover two. You know, uh, last year I knew the basics, but I really didn't understand the basics. You know, so since I understand the basics, I'm pretty much able to play faster and more smoothly now. And when, when you take a look at that, how much does it help to actually be on the field with your teammates in May or June when last year you're just talking to everybody over a computer screen? Yeah, uh, it builds a lot of team chemistry, a lot of team camaraderie, and uh, most importantly, all the uh, nicks and knacks that we need to get out right now, we're able to get it out. You know, uh, we didn't have no preseason last year. Uh, we only had camp, and then we went into the straight first game. So pretty much uh, having this going around right now allow us to pretty much sharpen our tools. And I, I'm, this is radio for the folks I'm poking in my head. How much are things going faster up here for you now compared to this day last year? Uh, faster in a manner of I'm able to play with more instincts. You know, things are slowing down. Uh, I feel like I'm more dialed in to, to who I am as a person now. Uh, I feel like I understand that I could play on this level. You know, you have to go through those those ups and downs and figuring out who you are, figuring out what you want to do in this league in order to really put your best uh, foot out there. So now, since I know that I can play on this level, I'm capable of playing this level, I'm more free and uh, more relaxed on the field. All right, final question. Are you excited maybe? Maybe we'll get some more man-to-man -man defense this year. You added Dory oh, yeah. Jackson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We might see a little bit more man nah, up here with you guys. Definitely, definitely excited. Uh, just a group of guys we got in the DB room, we love to compete, you know, and that's the game of football. You got to love to compete. So when it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's, it's me versus you. Man. Uh, let's get to it. Darnay, good stuff, man. We look forward to seeing you on the field. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. That's Giants cornerback Darnay Holmes. Don't miss out on your chance to experience a premier hospitality experience watching Giant games and world-class concerts in 2021 as a Giants suite partner. Limited full-season locations are available or place a deposit for individual games. Call 888-NYG-1925 or visit Giants.com slash suites for more information. All right, let's close it out with free agent edition Adoree Jackson, a new arrival to the Giants, hoping to make an impact as their starting outside cornerback across from James Bradbury. Adoree, I know you've been taking um, part in the virtual meetings, mandatory minicamp as well in person. What has it been like starting to learn exactly what you got yourself into signing here with the New York Giants and kind of what New York Giants defense is all about? Man, it's really intriguing um, being somewhere else for four years and then coming and trying to learn something new. I think that's one of the biggest things that I like, uh, a challenge. So having to learn uh, whatever they're trying to teach, you know, learn my, my new teammates, learn the coaches, see what they expect and what I expect and just trying to make it work and, and make sure we get off on the right start so I think it's been intriguing but very exciting at the same time how would you describe what the New York Giants defensive back meeting room is like I'm gonna say very competitive um, but a good competitive not like we always want to see each other excel and do well uh, I remember we were out there in Tampa working out and having the guys out there to finally gel and match was I think a good stepping stone you know for us to get this season going how we wanted to do and uh, to be able to just joke you know, the first time we met each other, we all laughed. It wasn't like any weird or ill vibes going on. So I think 
that's what the the DB room is competitiveness, but that family, like your your big brother, little brother, we're just competing, trying to outdo each other. How would you characterize what the Giants' defensive scheme is all about? I'm gonna say exciting. I feel like that's what that's what we're about, trying to bring excitement. I mean, you think about all the the legends and that played on the the defense of the Giants and. I mean, as you can say, it was exciting. You know, LT getting to the quarterback and whatever it may be. So it's one of those things where you just want to, you know, they say history repeats itself. So you want to do the same thing, but put your own twist to it so you can be remembered. So I think that's the, that's why I use the word exciting because we got an opportunity to do something. Now, you haven't experienced this yet, but everyone I talk to that, that's been under Patrick Graham and Joe Judge, they talk about how week to week, game to game, the defensive scheme can look extremely different. Have you talked to the guys about that? Do you have a feel for that yet? Or is really you still just dealing with a lot of the foundational stuff that they're installing early in the process? Um, pretty much a lot of foundational stuff. Um, for me, understanding that, like you said, a lot of people talk about that. And it's just me taking it a day at a time and like a grain of salt. Uh, trying to learn as much as I can. And when I have questions, ask. Because if I if I probably have a question, somebody else may have a question that just may not ask or vice versa. I might not want to ask a question. I think I might ask the question that I want. So I think that's the the best part about it. Nobody has an ego. Uh, if you need help, you can go seek help. And they're willing to help you. So I think that's what I like about this defense, being able to ask different questions in a group chat talk. And it's not like, oh, you're asking a silly question. Or you can ask a coach. And they're like, oh, glad you asked that. Or whatever it may be. So it, it's nice to be able to have conversation. Uh, bounce ideas off each other and uh, work. How would you compare it to this system and how they coach and teach to compare it to what you had in Tennessee? Um, I would just say like football is football. Sure. Uh, I feel like, you know, just the terminology, I guess. <laughs> that would be the biggest difference. You go somewhere for years. It's like I'm, when I lived in Illinois and then I moved out to California, it was just a whole co- uh, culture change and sure. a culture shock for me from the food, the music. Uh, the scenery, how people dress. And so I feel like it's the same ordeal, you know, being somewhere, I guess, comfortable, not comfortable, being somewhere what I'm used to and know what to expect. Accustomed to, exactly. Mm -hmm. And now I'm coming out here and it's like, all right, it's a learning curve. But at the same time, like I said, I like challenges and I like learning. So um, that's what I I would say is just adjusting to what is norm here from what you are used to. So just adjusting to the norm. Have you gotten your cold weather gear ready yet or not quite? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I have. (laughs) I have a couple coats from when I was in Tennessee, a couple right. cold weather gear, but I don't think it was as cold as what I'm about to get here. So uh, <laughs> I got my mom right, you know. <laughs> I for sure looked at them December guys to see what was going on, but um, but playing in the cold is fine. Uh, I was in Illinois, I played in the snow once. So it was like, those are the games that I don't know you look forward to, uh, that I know that's what like, it, it reminds you me of football. You remember them for sure, right? Yeah, you remind you of football. I know all my games that I had the most fun were it was the cold games. It was the rainy games. You know, not the prettiest weather, but you have fun doing it because it's what you love to do. So I'm looking forward to it. I know you talked to him before you got here, but now that you've been in meetings with them, what's your feel for Patrick Graham and for Coach Henderson, the guys that you have been coaching? You have a big smile on your face already dealing with those guys and kind of learning from them. Man, they're good people. They're they, they funny, um, good people, and I feel like genuine just to be able to talk to them and, and, and chat with them. And everybody spoke highly of them. So to be able to actually get to meet them myself and, and and sit down and talk and just have conversation, it was cool to have. And like I was saying, it's, it's great to be able to have conversation with those in the room and those that are coaching and trying to help you out because if you can't, it's like a relationship. You know, I don't have a good conversation, a uh, relationship can go sour sure. or it can go, it can go good. So conversation is key. And I feel like being able to have that with the coaches and everybody here is great. And I should ask you this too. Are you pumped up for training camp where you can actually, you know, get pads on and actually bump and run and have some fun with the really talented wide receivers on this team where you guys kind of test each other a little bit? Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm excited, man. I uh, I ain't played football, I was saying, wow, man. Last year, it was, it was a tough yeah. up and down year for me. So, man, I'm just always thankful and, and blessed to be in this position and have this opportunity because, you know, my mom used to tell me as a kid, like any any given day, the Lord can give it to you and take it away. That's for and sure. It was taken away from me at a point, not that I ever took it for granted or that I was unappreciative. Of, of of you know my gifts and my abilities but to actually see that oh it can actually happen to you never thought it would because at that aspect who does and so for it to happen to me man i'm just taking everything with a, a day at a time even to come into the mini camp just to do this ota stuff like man i'm just excited to go play ball and compete because 
it's what I love to do. And I know everybody out here that's on the team love to do it as well. So it's going to make a fun atmosphere for us. Can't wait to see it. Adoree, good stuff. Thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. We thank Adoree Jackson for joining us. And thanks again to James Bradbury and Darnay Holmes as well for joining us on the Giants Subtle Podcast on the Giants mobile app at Giants.com slash podcast and on your favorite podcast platforms. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on the Giants Huddle.